So I came home from work and my oldest son was reverse wrapping cordage. Dawson, how did you learn to do that? Well, I just saw one of your videos and I saw how you did it. I promise I didn't tell him to say that, but I'm really impressed what he was able to do here with just toilet paper. So you take some plant fiber here, or I guess toilet paper, and you turn both ends in opposite directions until it folds over on itself, just like this. Then you take the top piece, turn that away from yourself, and with your finger, bring the bottom piece up around. And you just keep doing that until you get the length you want. Then if your ends are getting too short here, you just take some more fiber and put it in here, like a V, and twist that in. You could process this down a little bit finer if you want, but I left some of the bark on the fiber here. It still works. So you may be asking yourself, why make reverse twist cordage? I believe that reverse twisting cordage is an essential bushcrafting skill that you should learn. I've used it to make a fishing line, a bull whip, a shirt, a backpack. You can use it to hold together your bushcrafting shelters. It's very strong. This is velvet leaf fiber that I've turned into cordage here and I just enjoy learning these new skills and it's a it's a skill I can do with my family. It's something I'm trying to teach my boys how to do. Dawson's picking it up quickly and here is some cordage we made just recently. So this is the velvet leaf plant here. It is winter time and it is dead plants. It's a good time to harvest it um, because it's all dried out. If you can harvest it in the summer and spring when it's green but um, you'll need to let it dry out before you use it. You just pinch and pull. You can slide big strands of fiber right off the stalk here of the velvet leaf. 